Now it's ready to import. Good evening, this is VJ Franz K. FL Studio Mobile is about to arrive on the App Store. To celebrate, I'm going to show you the creation of a track from the very beginning to the finish on the PC version. Going to go into the instruments again. We'll pick a drum kit. I like the sound of that trance kit. If you want some more drums to use, you can use the plus and it will add in some other sounds. Once again, I'm going to add another slice X instrument can pick in loops each uh, new element that you select will uh, change the track in certain ways notice that my uh, drum machine is only going over half the selection so what I'm going to do is go into here and then select this bar duplicate that bar so it goes across both bars. So uh, let's add in some synth notes. Just so I can hear what I'm doing, I'm going to select one, go into the keyboard. Narrow the uh, keys a little bit. So I entered that with a keyboard. It's a fast way to enter it. Now I want to edit everything. I'm going to quantize it. Put it on sixteenths. Okay, that fits reasonably well. And remember, because we're importing it into the uh, PC version, we will be able to uh, change the instrumentation later. How about a bass line? Because that one sounds like a lead, so go to synth bass, go back to the keyboard again, I have to scroll down to get it to the bass region. We're going to add an ostinato bass, which is sort of popular right now, and maybe too popular, but... And add one more sound to the mix. And of course, change the instrument after I put in the notes also. It really doesn't matter what instrument I'm going to be using here though, because I can always change it. I'll leave it that way for now. Alright, that's good enough. I'm going to save it. Levitation. Now it's ready to import. Notice that if I want, I can press this button and export it as a WAV file to use in some other program. I don't have to have the Fruity Loops home version. I could just use the mobile version. I can also export a MIDI file, which is very powerful, which means that we could import it into a variety of other programs. Let's try it. To transfer your track, you will need whatever computer you sync your iDevice to. In this case, this is my MacBook Pro. In iTunes, when my device is plugged in, I can pick it from the Devices menu here. You'll see all kinds of apps, and uh, let's see, I will go to scroll this down, go to file sharing. This is in the manual, by the way, so just read the manual. All of the files you have saved. 
if you remember, we just made three files named Levitation. An FLM, that's a Fruity Loops mobile file, a MIDI file, and a WAV file. So I'm going to select all of these. I'll hold Shift. And then I can copy them, drag them out, and copy them anywhere. All right, now here we are again in FL Studio 10. I'm going to take the FLM file that I have put in my directory. I made a directory for mobile made patterns. Now I'm going to drag the FLM file onto my document. And it's processing the file, bringing in the uh, matching kits and uh, devices to uh, produce the same sound as the mobile version. So it, here it is, my new uh, track, Levitation, recreated from the mobile version to the uh, computer version. And now I'm going to do what I haven't shown you uh, doing before, which is replace these instruments with uh, other instruments in FL Studio 10. Okay, I'm going to try some synth uh, presets from the list here. Just put this right on the... Already sounds pretty nice. Let's see. What some users have not been understanding is that, uh, you know, basically you can flesh out the pattern. You can, you know, write down your inspiration or idea using the mobile version and then bring it back here to uh, the computer version where you have a huge variety of existing synthesizers to use and adjust. All right, for the bass line, now I have succeeded in finishing out my track using the SAR, and uh, it sounds awesome. From the mobile to the complete track in only a few minutes. FL Studio Mobile is available today on the App Store. I suggest you check it out. It's, uh, it comes in two versions, one for the iPad and one for the smaller devices, iPhone and iPod Touch. Anyway, um, as I have shown you, it is very easy to be able to produce a track from the inspiration idea stage with the mobile to a full, complete track with the home version of FL Studio 10, or even other programs, as I've demonstrated with uh, Ableton Live using the MIDI export or the Wave export. Anyway, a very good program for your uh, mobile devices and your home studio. BJ Franz K recommends it. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe. Send me your requests, your opinions, and of course, your apps and devices to review. Thank you very much.